Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. I'm Sir Coopernut. And I'm Jenny. And in this episode we're going to be making our characters. So let's just head on down to create character. And what a coincidence, it's landed straight on the ta character race that I want to be. I'm going to be a Tarasaru male. Because he's a birdie and a plane. So cute, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to create my character first and then we'll create Jenny's afterwards. And I am going to be, I can't even remember, I have to find the right head. I think it's phase 6. Phase 6? Nope, that's not it. I'm useless to this. I should have known it. Um, is it 2? 2B, there we go. 2B. Maybe you should create an Elvan if you're going to show off some other stuff. Well, I am being a Taru. 2 okay. To be, I'll be a small tower. To be or not to be? I tripped over. <laughs> right, to be, so I'm to be small. Um, right, these are the jobs, and you've got to choose one at the start of the game. Depending on what you choose is what you're going to get. So, well, you get a free item, basically. So, warrior is basically the strongest, inverted commas, DD in the game. Uses big, ac great axes and things, but it gives you a sword at the start of the game. You're going to want to ditch that right away. Um, so yeah, that's basically warrior, very strong. Now monk. Shall I talk about monk? Yes, we already agreed that. Oh, I thought I was going the other way. Anyway, monk is a hand-to-hand -hand job, and they wield hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Uh, that could be claws, fire eye, all sorts of things. Um, but at the beginning of the game, you're going to really want to go bare-handed, because all, all the weapons do is um, add a little bit of um, damage and delay, I think. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm not a monk. Um, and it's it's not worth it at the start, so it's best to just have bare hands, and yes, you're a very, very pretty strong DD for the start of the game and all the way through, and later on they become very good tanks. They have the highest HP of any job as well, and you do not get given any weapons at the start of the game. You get given a white belt instead, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. The belts are very useful. Okay, now White Mage is, of course, the main healer. Anyone if you have played any Final Fantasy game will know about White Mages. They're the best healers in the game. Not for, They're actually quite strong. They're probably the strongest of all the mages meleeing, believe it or not, <laughs> which is mm. quite amazing. They use clubs. White Mage, that's all you need to know. They get given you a club, and you get given a scroll of cure at the start of the game. Now, Black Mage. Black Mages are a very, very strong mage. Um... For a while in the past, they weren't used much in game, but they've met, they've resurfaced and come back bigger than ever. At the beginning of the game, you're given stone, but you'll have to collect many, many scrolls all on your journey. You're also given, I think, an onion staff. At the start yes, of the game. yes. Okay, now red mage, is, of course, the most annoying mage in the world. <laughs> it's a cross between a white mage and a black mage. You get some white magic and some black magic, but not all. And you're also a little bit okay at meleeing. But you're still not as good as a white mage at melee. They also get red magic, don't they? Oh yeah, and they get some special red magic for themselves, but that's still in the same categories. Um, you get I can't even remember what you are given as a red mage. I think you get a dagger. I don't actually think they give you a sword. Mm. I'm not sure. And they give you a scroll of deer, which basically lowers the enemy's defense and damage over time. It's actually a good spell. Okay, now Thief. Thief is um, well at the start of the game. Thief is pretty weak, but it's it's thief is generally a pulling job. You'll pull the monster to camp. Um, it's very good for soloing, and it's mainly um, it's mainly invited for treasure hunter and mid levels sneak attack and trick attack, which you can deal very quite a bit of damage, but in short bursts. You start off with a knife or a dagger or something, and the yeah. treasure hunter thing is really the thing that makes thief stand out. They can li they literally if you it makes you get loads of drops. They're basically if you have a thief in your party, you're going to get more rewards. So with that, I think I'm going to be a red mage to start off with, and my name will be Sir Couponut. Does that even fit? I don't know. Hopefully, yeah. So Koopana and you got to choose a server now, but we're going to be on Cerberus and Gold World Pass. Oh, we could have done a Gold World Pass. Oh. Nah. Mm. Nah. You've, okay. you've done. You've done it in the past. You yeah, should explain that. Okay, now we got to choose the kingdoms here. Well, your nation. You got to start off with. There are three nations you can choose from. We're going to choose. Well, we're going to go through them all. Sandoria. Um, 
it's basically a nation in, in the northern part of the world. It's the Elvan's home kingdom. It's very cold up there. They're very proud people. They got everything's made of stone. They got royal knights. It's basically England, but it's more Scotland. And they got it's got music like Scotland. It's got the Scottish music, and they got a bunch of French names for everything. Just because apparently Japan are obsessed with French people. Oh yes, definitely. Um, and then we got Bastok. Bastok is the, a republic, which means he's ruled by a president. Now, I think he's a bit weird, but if, if, you, if you want to go meet him, you can. Um, it's it's um, very good for shops. There's loads of guilds and shops there. Um, there's also a mining district where you can actually find a cave to take you into a mine, which is pretty good for low levels and nowadays higher levels. Just stay away from those areas. Um, it's. I think. I think it's. I'm not quite sure who it. Who Bastok is trying to represent in the real world, but. America. Kind. Kind of. Yes. I think. Um, it's the home of the Humes, and the Galka were brought over from their ancestral home because they were being attacked by people. But we'll go through that when we come to that. Mm -hmm. And basically, Galkas are the slaves. Galkas are the black people. <laughs> in yeah. ages past in America. That's why I think it represents America. Yep. Um, and then we get the best nation of all, the <laughs> Federation of Windurst. This is where the Tarus come from and the Mithra emigrated here in the war and we let them stay and they helped us out. Um, and our place is ruled by a, a, a seeress called the Star Sybil who can see the future and she governs us via that. Our government is made up of five little, um, five ministries which all deal in different forms of magic and they help the Star Sybil rule the country. And as you can see through what's been shown right now, Windows is basically just a bunch of trees and water and it's very pretty and in my opinion it's the best nation. So I think with that we, oh and Windows has like the most guilds out of anywhere, all the magic's places. And I think Windus is the best storyline. Of course, we'll be showing all three of the nation storylines, but we'll be starting off in the Federation of Windus. Register Sir Cooper be into play, and this is when we find out my name's been taken. <laughs> so are we just starting off in Windus then? Yeah. Okay. We won't show anyone else. They're not important. Well, when you change nations, you basically get to see that cutscene anyway, so when we change nations, it'll be fine. Okay, downloading data. Make sure you keep moving your mouse case, your journey, while your like, cursor is your disconnect. I'm, I'm still in the character creation thing. Should I hurry up and get on with it? No, you need to wait until I'm done. Okay. The Federation of Windus, an ancient capital nurtured by the bows of a great tree, blessed by magical waters and protected by the moons and stars. There is a legend in this country. In a time forgotten, a people forced to wander by starvation and cold were led to this land by a wondrous star. This is Jerusalem, or Bethlehem. <laughs> when that star returned to the heavens, it sent to the earth a spiritual medium, the first star symbol who could hear its voice. I, can... I wasn't reading fast enough. <laughs> With each passing eon, the people came to excel at magic more and more, giving Windows far greater wisdom and power. We invented magic. Five ministries, each specialised in their school of knowledge, became politically influential institutions. They elevated Windows to become a city of academics. In recent years, new bonds are made with the roaming tribes of Mithra, causing Windows to become even bigger than before. But the people's wish remains unchanged. Lasting peace, eternal tranquility, under the watch of the far-off stars. And now, a new star of hope has been born to this earth, Sir Kuponar. What is about to begin here is an enduring tale woven by that star. But how long have you been born for? I don't know. Our age is never specified. Oh, it looks like I'm starting off in the woods. It's Nanamigo. What's up with you? Why are you standing there in a daze? Hmm, you call yourself an adventurer? I guess if one stretches her imagination enough, you could almost look like one. 
Let me take a stab in the dark and guess that this is your first time in Windurst. First time in Windurst? Yes. Well then, welcome. Yes, welcome to peaceful old Windurst. Scaredy cats who have been dumbed down by the peace are enthusiastically received here. What? How are you head? Where are you heading? What brings you to town? Um, I'll just say go shopping. Hmm. What the shopping? I'm asking me's a waste of time. I mean, a waste of my time, not yours. If you must ask, then all I recommend is to head to Port Windurst. To get there, head down on the road the other side of the fountain round. Once in the port, head down to the wharves where there are three boat shaped shops. They house a magic shop, an armor shop, and a weapon shop. If you're looking for shops in the Windus Woods area, there's a general store, goods store far over on the other side of these tents. You'll find the Bone Worker Skills and Weaver Skills shops back behind there too. You should know this already, but you can make money by selling the items that monsters drop after you defeat them. You can use the gear worm to buy whatever you want. Well, I've he helped you enough for today, I'm sure you get the idea. Now, Amigo's lessons on Windus is over. I've discounted your tuition fee to a mere 1,000 gil. Come on then, cough it up. No way, I ain't paying that. What? You won't pay even a, sing me even a single compliment despite my kindly assistance? Don't you know basic adventurous etiquette? Show me how much you've got in your purse. Hold it right there. It's a bunch of baby tarots. Nan amigo, you're up to your old tricks of duping travellers out of their hard-earned guilt, aren't you? We, the Star Onion Brigade, won't let you get away with it. Ugh, girl, not those SOBs again. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> oh dear. Scooby-Doo reference. <laughs> due to the disturbance, it, due to the sermons, I'll have to end your lesson for today. We'll continue another day, and that's when I'll collect my fee. Ah, oh, she's running away. No, hey, she's getting away. After her. Hey, don't run so fasty wasty. <laughs> that miffle is a really bad miffle. We'll call her the cat burglar. If you need well, we'll help, head towards the fountain. Jack of Spades is on guard around there. He will teach you all you need to know. Check the map to find a way there. Oh, and give Jack this. You can give it to him by using the menu's trade option. Ah, we forgot to introduce ourselves. We are the Star Onion Brigade. We are the protectors of a brighter future. It'll pay you to remember us. Go, Star Onion Brigade. They're nice kids. So are we basically not actually from our home nation? No, yeah, we're travellers and my character needs to load. Okay, Jenny, you can make your character now. Okay. I hope I spelt my name right. <sighs> Talking through your face and stuff and your size. Huh? Talking through your face and size. Oh, my, my face was 3A and I'm going to be a small Mithra. I'm Mithra, by the way. So, yeah. We're going to see how this works. I'm also going to be Windust. Where am I? Job for you. I am a warrior. Let's let's see. Let's see. I hope I'm not in the same place. That'll just be lame. Excitement. I'm in walls. Oh, the Federation. No, I think Federation Windust. No. Oh. That's just the opening cutscene. Oh. Right now. Oh dear. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I am in. Waters. Oh, nice. That's where I was first time. Hey, it's a taru. Does he really have to just watch me? What's the matter, Roo? Oh, seeing you standing there, gazing into the distance, I thought you were looking at something interesting. Seems as though you were just taking in the atmosphere of peaceful old Windurst. But I can say that these are the most peaceful times Windurst has seen. If the great tree were to wither up and die, this whole country would pass away with it. Sadly, that end could be nigh. As you don't marry, you know, why are you bothering poor another poor adventurer? <laughs> oh dear. It's a poodoo. Excuse my big brother, friend. I'm sure you were in the middle of something important before he rudely interrupted you. You've you've got it all wrong again, Apuruu. This poor adventure was lost, so I kindly offered to help. Isn't that right, Ru? No, don't believe him. Is that so? Excuse me for asking, but you wouldn't happen to be new to Windust, would you? Um, yeah. Well then, allow me to give you some tips. Windurstians are obliged to show kindness to those new to our neighbourhood. 
So, what do you want to know? Is there anything you need to do in particular? If so, don't be afraid to ask. Sweet Apuru. Don't do shopping, do something else. Uh, where am I and who are you? This is Taru Taru. We are Windurst. You are our new slave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Achido Marujitu, bite your tongue. Screen's gone black, I think that's it. Nope. This place is called Windurst. Oh, it's Apuru. This place is called Windurst Waters. It is the oldest of the four districts of Windurst and has been the centre of Taru Taru life for ages. In Windurst, there are five educational and governmental ministries. The ministers themselves support the Star Sybil, who rules over Windurst. Three of the ministries are here in Windurst Waters. Many Taru Taru are involved in studying a variety of subjects at these institutions. It's very happy. <laughs> You'll also find several Taru Taru run shops in this area. There's a hostelry, a general goods store, a milliner O, and the Culinarian's Guild, and a tavern. It will take you more than a day to see all the sights. Ah, and one shouldn't forget the residential area. Follow the little road that leads to Windows Walls and turn right to find the entrance. In Windurst, in Windurst's, re, bleh, in Windurst's red residential area, there is a mug house for you to store items and rest up in. Talk to the guards at the entranceway for details. Um, what else were you asking about, Aru? Nothing. Huh? Oh yeah, just in who in Vanadil are we? Because I asked who are yeah. they. <laughs> well, if you hadn't figured it out already, I'm a Pururu by my name. Nice to meet her, are you. Oh yes, and I'm Ajido Marujido. I'll it'll pay to remember me. Well, I guess you still have plenty of questions to ask, but we have to get going now. I suggest you ask your fellow adventurers for help. Vanadil is a huge place, so you'll need to make as many friends as you can. Where's Cooper Nut? Ah friends. I had better warn you. Don't go around telling people you're my friend, right Aru? Okay. Ah, Ajido Marujido, wait up a moment. Oh, before I go, here, take this. Give it to our friend, Jack of Heart, who is on patrol near the Huntsman's Court. Jackie Wacky is a good little guardian who will tell you anything else you need to know. To pass him the coupon, target him and select trade from the main menu. I hope to see you around sometime. Good luck, my shiny whiny adventure friend, Tartaru. Okay, Jen. Um, I want you to hit a watch your. Let me know when your thing is loaded. Um, let's get in there. Okay. Right, now what you want to do immediately is open your menu and go to configuration, yeah? Mm hmm. Uh, gameplay, I should check that out. Uh, gameplay should be okay. Chat filters, leave them for now. Um, go to miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, put it on on screen damage both. You can leave everything else. So it is actually in MISC 2. Um, it seems like it's already done it all for us. Oh, macro full dynamic. Oh, background aspect ratio. Put that 16 uh, 9 widescreen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm worried about the keyboard. But, uh, go into global, turn the language filter off, and then put auto disconnect off. And then go into mouse and camera and put screen edge panning off. Is that, is that all? Yep, now you, I want you to head over to me, take the warp tarot to Windows Woods, okay, and I'll meet you over there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Windows has a bunch of warp tarots, and they're in each district, and they teleport you around, which saves a lot of time. Now, if you started off in your correct city for your race, so Elvans in Sandy, uh, Humes and Galpers in uh, Bastok, and Tara and Mithra in... Um, Windurst, you'll be given a Windurstian ring or whatever Nate, ring you are. So go and equip that right away. You press Control E to bring up your in uh, inventory and equipment. Well, equipment. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And then go down ring one or ring two, and then equip your Windurstian ring. Now, I was uh, as a red mage was there. You are, Jenny. Wait there. Oh, Gengar Soup. I can't just... see you yet. Hang on. Oh, there you are. Um, Hello. Now, I was given an onion dagger, but. I don't want an onion dagger, and I was also given a scroll of Dia, which I'm going to use right now. So you go Control I to open that up, and then you use that, and it will teach you it. Control Enter it in Magic List, and I get Dia. Um, 
what have we got here? Like Jenny was given an onion sword, as you can see, but mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be nicking that off you. What? No! <laughs> Go you're, away! You're, you're a warrior, and warriors shouldn't be using swords. It's well, I don't. There's no level one get great axes. I thought. Go away! I think there is, and if there's not, I'll find one. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll be giving I'll be giving Jenny a great axe and she'll be giving me her sword. So let's go trade in these adventurer coupons that we've got. Now this coupon is actually kind of pointless. Where is Jack? Just Wasn't he in me. Windows Waters? Just follow me. Um, and it will give you 50 gil for it, I believe. Jeez, look at my HP. My HP is 24 and I've got 29 <laughs> MP. It's so bad. I am 31 HP and 0 MP. Should we make a party? Uh, there's not much point, we'll be ending things off soon. Okay. Um, there's the Jack of Spades, we'll just trade him the coupon. Oh. Trade, venture coupon. There's one in every zone. Thank you kindly, please take this in return. Jack has no need for this. Jack recommends you talk with guard named Selali. She is near the gate in Windows Wood, which exits into East Saruta Baruta. 50 gil. I love them guys. These are Cardians, by the way. They're robots that were made by the Ministry up there. And that, what are they called? The Manastery, yeah. They make the Cardians. There are robot magical guards. That's pretty neat. The wheels um, are weird. I think we're probably going to end this episode off here because we've done quite a lot and not sure about file sizes and things. So in the next episode, we will be probably heading out and doing some combat, leveling up. So. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys then on Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. Nearly said nine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.